Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about jailbreaking for iOS 14, the jailbreak status for iOS 13.5.1 and iOS 13.6. Welcome to the second episode of my series entitled The State of Jailbreaking. Episode 1 aired just before the release of the last uncovered jailbreak for iOS 13.5. So this status update video will pick up from there and move us from iOS 13 to iOS 14. But if you guys always want the latest jailbreak status, just be sure to visit jailbreakcheck.com. It's a new initiative I'm launching where you will always be able to find the latest jailbreak status through our jailbreak checker, again, at jailbreakcheck.com. So if you just want the latest status, visit that page and it will be updated dynamically. All right, so with that said, let's first just acknowledge what a fantastic year it's already been for jailbreaking. Seriously, guys, I said prior to the release of CheckRain that we were about to enter a golden age of jailbreaking, and that prediction was 100% accurate. Coming off of the tail end of 2019, not only did we get the release of the CheckRain jailbreak capable of jailbreaking the iPhone 10 and older for the lifetime of those devices, but then next carrying us into the first half of 2020, we actually received two jailbreak utilities, the latter of which intended for iOS 13.5 and lower, actually made use of a zero day kernel vulnerability. For those of you who don't know what that means, that just means a vulnerability or an exploit that was not disclosed to Apple and patched prior to its release. So we were able to jailbreak the latest public firmware at the time, again, being iOS 13.5, and that simply hasn't happened since the days of iOS 8. So we've had two new jailbreaks that include support for all devices, and we've of course also had check rain. This has been a great year for jailbreaking, and it's only going to get better as we move forward into the end of this year and 2021 with iOS 14. So let's just go ahead and get into this, talking first about the jailbreak checker page, which again is available at jailbreakcheck.com. So that page is my brand new jailbreak status checker, and in addition to featuring the jailbreak status of iOS 14, it will also cover the newest versions of iOS 13. Now these versions include iOS 13.5.1 and iOS 13.6, which is in beta stages as of recording this video, both of which feature Apple's jailbreak patch, which again rolled out in iOS 13.5.1, which rendered the uncovered jailbreak null and void past iOS 13.5. So again, just be sure to bookmark that URL and check back regularly. The page is dynamic, so it will always contain the latest iOS 14 jailbreak status. Of course, be sure to subscribe, ding that notification bell. That way you will not miss out the second I release new jailbreak coverage and let you guys know what's going on and what's changed in the realm of jailbreaking. So as of recording this video, there is not an iOS 14 jailbreak and that applies to both CheckRain for the older devices as well as Uncover or a similar jailbreak solution for newer devices. Heck, guys, iOS 14 Beta 1 was just released to developers earlier this week on June 22nd, 2020. So development takes time. Soon enough, though, CheckRain will be able to jailbreak iOS 14 for older devices, again, the iPhone 10 and below. And this is because their processors have a hardware flaw in them that simply cannot be patched by Apple and will continue to persist throughout iOS updates. Again, it's a hardware flaw, can't be patched with software. So we expect CheckRain to be up updated for iOS 14 beta before the final build of iOS 14 is pushed out this fall. In fact, developers have already gotten CheckRain to run on iOS 14 beta 1. So let's talk about that just real quick over here. So first, it all started with Danny Lazinski the other day tweeting out the following quote, just like the good old days, it's good to be back on track. There is still some work to be done, so please bear with us and be patient. The ETA is always when brought to you by the CheckRain team powered by Checkmate. And that was accompanied with this screenshot here, which has Cydia as well as CheckRain in the other folder. What a flex. So he accomplished a jailbreak via CheckRain on iOS 14 beta 1. And if you don't know, Danny Lazinski is an official member 
of the Checkrain development team. Now, currently, if you were to attempt to use Checkrain to jailbreak your compatible iPhone 10 with its A11 CPU or older, it simply wouldn't work. It would boot you into iOS 14 with neither the Checkrain application, which is used to install Cydia, nor, of course, Cydia itself. So as of now, iOS 14 does break compatibility with Checkrain, but the big differentiating factor here though is that it does not patch the jailbreak. It only just breaks some of the frameworks and systems put in place to run on top of iOS that give us what we are familiar with as a jailbreak. So those will be fixed, but it's only a matter of time. And then followed up, a day later, Sam Bingner tweeted out a little more progress showcasing a screenshot that says iPhone 10 comma three, the identifier for the iPhone 10 running iOS 14.0. So iOS 14 beta jailbroken. The Chuckrain team is definitely working on it. And as Danny Lazinski said, ETA when, which simply just means they will not release any sort of ETA or give guidance. They will just drop it when it is ready. So of course, stay tuned. I'll let you guys know the second that happens. And he of course followed that up saying, yes, I should have called it out, but this is Chuckrain. So this is of course what we are talking about. And then Jamie Bishop actually posted some screenshots of updating a tweak to work on iOS 4. 14 beta and some other tweaks that he's testing and updating that are working on iOS 14 beta. And as you can see right here, there's even a theme going on with snowboards. So they're making progress. Things are moving ahead and we should receive a jailbreak in the form of check rain very soon. Now, if you don't have a check rain compatible device and you're like, yeah, but why the heck does it matter? Here's why this is so, so, so very important. It's because check rain will essentially allow for a much better security research environment for developers to use their private APIs and frameworks to actually help discover new vulnerabilities that can then be exploited and rolled into brand new jailbreaks for all devices. So not only is it a jailbreak for public use, but it's also something intended for security researchers to help find these new vulnerabilities and exploits to be able to jailbreak across all devices. So guys, Checkrain is amazing. And that's part of the reason why we've had such a great go of it this year with jailbreaking so far, and it's only getting started. So of course, newer devices, however, such as the iPhone XS and iPhone 11 will require more work. They will again need what's known as a kernel exploit, which is not nearly as low level as the Checkmate exploit found in Checkrain and is therefore easily patchable by Apple. For this reason, it's crucial that your device maintains a jailbreakable firmware. And when iOS 14 is released, it's recommended that you avoid updating until we have guidance from developers. The window will be small, but we will know in advance which iOS 14 firmware or firmwares are most suitable for jailbreaking. So in addition to this page, letting you guys know, I will of course push out a video letting you know as well. And one last note on that, a newer jailbreak in the form of a semi-untethered utility like Uncover. We do expect that to be released at some point after, of course, iOS 14's release, definitely not within these beta stages here. Things could change and maybe we could receive another iOS 13 jailbreak, but I highly doubt it. We're going to talk about that in just a second. And now as for iOS 13.5.1 through iOS 13.6, there is not a jailbreak for those firmwares on newer devices. Again, being the iPhone XS with its A12 CPU and newer up to the iPhone 11 and of course the newer iPad models. So they're not jailbreakable on a public firmware higher than iOS 13.5. And this is because again, once more guys, Apple patched the latest uncovered jailbreak with the release of iOS 13.5.1. And what I previously stated, of course, remains true for iOS 13.5.1 and up on those newer devices. If you see anywhere, anyone claiming that there's a jailbreak and you don't see me covering it here on the channel, it's because it's fake. It's because it's a scam. So many scams go around in the world of jailbreaking. It's not even funny. Seriously, guys, it's awful and you just need to avoid them. Most of the time, they will simply be click fraud scams, which essentially they're trying to push out these advertisements promising you that if you download an application, you're going to get a jailbreak. That's just 
just not how it works, guys. You actually have to exploit the device's kernel or boot ROM, and then that way it allows for what's known as root access, and Cydia can be installed on top of that, and you can do things with your device that you normally couldn't. That's the whole reason of jailbreaking, is to enable root access in a nutshell. But... Right now, there is no jailbreak for those newer devices on the latest firmwares. However, of course, you can jailbreak them with CheckRain, so I will have that linked down below in your description as well, so check that out if you want to be able to jailbreak iOS 13.5.1 through 13.6, and of course, CheckRain will get an update soon to also support iOS 14. So guys, that's really everything I wanted to talk about in today's video as far as jailbreaking goes. I know it's a lot, but trust me, more can be said on the subject. I'll let you guys know if anything changes in the world of jailbreaking. I didn't want to get too granular in this video and too specific simply because things do change on a regular basis. The jailbreak situation is dynamic, never static. Things are always in flux and it is theoretically possible that we could receive another jailbreak utility for iOS 13. Heck, I didn't even think we'd get the one that we did get in the form of the iOS 13.5 jailbreak as quickly as we did. It's possible that another kernel vulnerability could be patched in something like iOS 13.6 or some future version past iOS 13.6 and then could be exploited on those lower firmwares that are still higher than iOS 13.5 and rolled into a jailbreak utility. Again, theoretically possible. Just as of now, we don't foresee that happening. That could always change. I'll let you guys know if it does. And if that happens, by the way, we could also potentially see iOS 14 beta support on the newer devices, being the ones powered by the A12 and A13 CPUs. How awesome would that be? Anyway, I'm starting to get ahead of myself here. We'll just see what happens. I'll keep you guys in the loop as things develop. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.